Hello, this video we will do the activation and updating of the DJI O4 Pro and N3 goggles and then the FCC hack on the N3 goggles. So let's start. Uh, start with the required items. These are the items you need for the activation and updating. First, you need the power cable for the O4 Pro, which should link to the 7.4 to 26.4 volt and another in is just T1.0 millimeter six pins. You need a good twister, you need OTG cable and charging to link between the devices to your computer, which should be Mac or Windows are fine. And then you need Wi-Fi, you need the program, which is DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series only. There are so many series of this program, but you need Consumer Drone Series only. So let's move on to the required items for FCC hack. First, you need to download the HAM underscore CFG underscore support file. I will give the link to download in the video description and then you need a good micro SD card. And then you are ready to start the updating and activating process. So, but before that, I recommend you to check the battery level of the N3 goggles because DJI recommend that you should have at least 20% battery level before I start updating. Mine was at 24% when I receiving the ground goals and I want to charge it to 25%. I, I want to charge it more than 24% before activation. But then once I plug in the, the charging cable, uh, the, the goggles turn on automatically without me noting, knowing it. And then after one minute, it start beeping continuously. I don't know that the goggles had turned on, so I don't know how to stop the beeping sound, which is so annoying. Uh, maybe you can turn it off to stop the beeping sound if you want to charge it before the activation. And then the power source to charge the goggles should be max 5 volt slash 3 amp when powered off. That's what said in the manual of the goggle and then then let's move on to the activation and updating process on the goggles entry you just need to why uh, you just need to link the uh, the goggles to your computer according to this diagram then you turn on the assistant to program and then the activation process will be automatic I do not need to explain it and you just follow the step providing by the program. And then in order to update the goggles, you just click on the icon after the activation has processed, you, 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 you will move to this page and you will see the icon of the goggles, click on it and find the last firmware to upgrade. That's it, so easy straightforward let's move on to the uh, activation of the o4 pro air unit uh, for the activation process you need to power the o4 pro by another power source as well not just by the usb cable so but the cable that is given in the box is just t to just t six pin to six pins cable which is for flight controller so i need to make my own connector in order to activating it and updating it bef uh, activating it before installing it into my drone so this is how i uh, make my own cable i use the 3s battery source make the, my own cable but and uh, be careful if you make your own cable just uh, List the just make the wire according to the manual say dot do not mix it so that then after you finish connecting the O4 Pro to a power source then you just turn it on uh I mean turn the program on and the, the activation process is automatic no need to explain after the activation is done on the O4 Pro then you can update it. You just need the USB cable for the updating process. Uh, after you connect it to the PC, then you just click on the icon of the Air Unit Pro, uh, O4 Air Unit Pro, and then select the listed firmware to update and wait. And then move on to the next step, binding process. You can start it with either devices. Uh, I will start with the goggles first. First, turn on the goggle, and then 
inside the goggle, you need to go to the status switch and select a new aircraft. Uh, I, I have a video here. You go to the status on the top right corner. There's a switch button. Click on it and then select DJI O4 Air Unit Pro, not any other option. DJI O4 Air Unit Pro and then go back and you are done on the on the goggles and then after that you just entering the buy mode by pushing the power button hold push and hold until you you hear the beeping sound on the goggles and then you know you it is in the buy mode then you move on to work with the O4 Pro and you need you need to power it on uh, just like when you are actually using it by battery or flight controller and then you use the twister to push the buy button on a side of the uh, uh, the O4 Pro here in the picture and then after that you wait until both devices fight each other then and then the binding process is done and now you can move on to the FCC hack on the goggles after you have downloaded the ham underscore cfg underscore support file onto your pc you just move that file onto the root of your sd card the root of your sd card is the first thing you see after you open uh, the sd card drive on your computer the first thing you see is the root folder just put the ham file onto that page and then you take that sd card and put it onto the goggles and that is it you can check whether the goggles is is in fcc mode by turn on to go to the menu the transmission and then uh, change the channel mode into the manual and then for the 60 and 40 megahertz there should be three channel and for the 20 and 10 megahertz that should be seven channel and that is it you are done okay that is it for this video see you next next video bye bye